there is another side here. There's a lot of regret going on. And CBS News, got to give them, got to give them credit where, where credit's due. 60 Minutes ran a special about transgender regret and the, the girls who regret looking like boys and the boys who regret looking like girls. In her early 20s, Grace Ladinsky Smith was seriously depressed and developed gender dysphoria. She began searching for answers in transgender communities on the internet. And when I saw them being so happy and excited about doing this wonderful transformative process to really like become their true selves, it was like, have I considered that this could be my situation too? Grace says she found a gender therapist on the internet and told her, I'm thinking of transitioning. Because she was over 18 and didn't need parental consent, she says she merely signed an informed consent form at a clinic and got hormone shots. Just four months after she started testosterone, she says she was approved for a mastectomy, what's called top surgery, that she told us was traumatic. I started to have a really disturbing sense that like a part of my body was missing, almost a ghost limb feeling about being like, there's something that should be there. And the feeling really surprised me, but it was really hard to deny. And so she detransitioned by going off testosterone. So you, you get the idea. This goes on and on. I recommend you watch the whole thing. Very pretty girl going through a bad period where she was depressed and then some perverts and, and psychos and, and idiots. I mean, to be, to be fair to them, some of these people might just be stupid, but I think a lot of them are just perverts and they're, they're preying on people's confusion. Uh, but some of them might just be totally ignorant and stupid. They take advantage of this and they say, oh yeah, you want to mutilate yourself? You want to lop off perfectly healthy organs? Fine by me. Here you go. And by the way, it's not just children. You'll hear the, a lot of conservatives say, well, you know, look, whatever adults want to do, that's fine, but just don't do it to the kids. Well, she was an adult, right? So this, this woman was 18 years old. Do you think it's right that some pervert doctor was, was able to facilitate this depressed, troubled woman's decision to mutilate her own body, which she almost instantly came to regret and has now gone back a little bit, but has suffered irreversible damage? Do you think that's good? I don't. I think there are, you know, as there often are, I think there are probably three positions on this issue. The left's position is trans everybody, including and especially the kids, right? Let drag queen story hour into schools. Let's confuse kids on their sex. Let's teach kids in preschool as they're doing in Brooklyn that little boys can be little girls and let's get everybody on transgender ideology. Then there's the middle squish position, which a lot of self-styled conservatives hold, which is bad for kids, but if adults want to mutilate their bodies, totally fine. And then there's the actual conservative position, which is, I don't care if you're 18, I don't care if you're 80, you should not be able to do this. Doctors should not be mutilating perfectly healthy body parts. And people who are troubled and want to do this or, or believe that they have to do this to be their true selves are disturbed people and they need psychological help, but they don't need their bodies mutilated to make their problems worse. That's, those, are the, those are the three positions. Pick, pick your choice. <laughs> there, you know, the, 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 the left authoritarian position and then the nice, wonderful, liberal, open-minded position, like w women such as this, who are 18 years old, should be able to mutilate themselves, even if they're going to regret it terribly. And then there's the right-wing authoritarian, they're going to call it authoritarian, position that you shouldn't be able to mutilate perfectly healthy body parts and take advantage of disturbed people. Where do you fall in that issue? I think you can tell which side I fall on. It's, hor it's horrible what we've done to these girls. And it's, it's, Obviously, this is a, the topic of Abigail Schreier's book, Irreversible Damage, which I, I think I blurbed that book. I, I loved it so much in, in the advanced copy, and then it became a big, uh, big seller. So I recommend you go out and read that one. This is not just one isolated case that CBS News is covering. This is happening a lot, and it's in, it happening increasingly. And for parents who don't know what to do, I, I understand how confused one would be, especially if your kid's going to public school where this insanity is being foisted on them constantly. And you've got a kid who is very confused about this. I understand it's a hard decision to make. What do I do? What do I, you've got a family member who's going through this. But there's a dark side to this story that only very rarely comes out into public light. So well done to CBS for, for covering it at all. Th these are transparent lies. To tell that pretty girl, that pretty 18 year old girl, you're actually a boy and you need to mutilate yourself. That is a, such a transparent, she's not a boy and she's, she wasn't a boy when she underwent the surgery and she's 
still not a boy now that she recognizes that she's a woman. She probably has some resentment, maybe not, hopefully, you know, but I probably would have some resentment at a culture and at these sicko doctors who would take advantage of me. The lies are so transparent. Hmm. All right. Now that I've got your attention, ring the bell, ring the bell, subscribe, like, make sure that you get the notifications while you're at it, by the way, head off of YouTube and go on over to our podcast apps, you know, Apple podcast, Spotify, where Google play, wherever you listen to your podcasts, make sure you subscribe. We've heard there's some shenanigans going on with our subscriptions and our, our shows on those apps. So just, just to make sure that there's no glitches or anything like that, head on over, subscribe. If you wouldn't mind, leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.